Hi friends, let's continue our education on the topic of the digestive tract. And today we continue on the topic of liver lecture 15B on the topic functional liver deficiency, meaning when the liver does not produce in either good quality of the bile or not quantity of the bile is not there. So a person will have clinical complaints, bitter metallic or sour taste in the mouth, right upper quadrant pain, fat intolerance or fat dislike, this piece of pork that went right into your digestive tract two days ago is still there sitting in the digestive tract and you just don't want to eat. People will have often nausea, slightly green, greenish colored stool is possible. Uh, fatty stool is um, always, uh, often is presented and also weight gain. And all of that is a result of poor absorption of fat and fat soluble vitamins such as A, K, D, and E. So we rely on people complaints to make a diagnosis of functional liver disorder. Also, you, when you suspect that you look further for a clinical presentation. For example, in traditional Chinese medicine, liver represented on the sides of the tongue. And when you look at the real picture here of real tongue, you can see that the edge of the tongue is corrugated and it's on both sides. It's sides. It's called teeth imprints, means uh, stagnation in the liver. Also, this person has a huge crack in the middle, means that the whole digestive tract is not healthy. This slide is from the previous lecture, and we are talking about functions of the liver, and this is function number one, production of the bile, because it's responsible for breaking down fats in the small intestine. So in functional liver deficiency, quantity or quality of the bile is not there as a result poor absorption of fat and fat-soluble vitamins. Now, let's go to the blackboard and uh, I will explain why it is important to fix functional liver deficiency. Otherwise, person will have a problem down the road. As always, I already pre-drew for us picture of our digestive tract. This is the mouse with the teeth, esophagus, loesophageal sphincter, stomach, pillarus, and this is the small intestine. Liver is located here and will produce bile here into the small intestine. When you put piece of fat, in, fat into your mouth, could be pork, beef, um, avocado, piece of fish or dairy products. This uh, fat goes through, through the digestive tract, through the stomach and into small intestine and ends up here in the small intestine in a kind of large piece of fat. Um, let me just draw a separate picture. It's going to be like that. This is the, this is the piece of fat. Uh, liver will start to produce a bile here into small intestine. Bile has several components. One of them is bile juices, which will create uh, neutral or contribute to creation of neutral environment pH 7. It also will have um, cholesterol and bile acids. The purpose of those bile acids is to surround the fat and the bile acids have a, a two ends, one called lipophilic and other lipophobic. And lipophobic gets attached here into the, attached to the fat. So you have a bunch of those bile acids. And what they do, they physically pull this fat apart. So you create smaller, smaller particles of fat. This is important because pancreas P stays for pancreas, will drain here in the small intestine and pr will produce enzyme called lipase. And that lipase will have easier time to break down further this piece of fat. And only then, only then the smaller pieces will get absorbed through the digestive tract into the bloodstream, okay? This is your bloodstream. And all, only smaller pieces of fat will end up, will be able to go through the digestive tract. So breaking down the fat called di uh, digestion, and then you, you absorb it. So also bile salts, they are responsible for transport of fat soluble vitamins, AKE and D through the digestive tract. They physically will grab it and transport it here into the bloodstream. They also will create missiles, uh, small particles 
uh, kind of they suspend it in the um, water environment. They will have fatty acids, cholesterol, and um, monoglycerides, and they're also able to absorb through the digestive tract. So this is how normal uh, process working. When you when the liver is making good quality and good quantity of the bile. If something is broken and the quality and quality of bile is not there, the result is this piece of big piece of fat is not this one piece of fat is not broken down. Okay, the uh, means mal digestion. As a result, this big piece of fat will go through the digestive tract and will get right into your bathroom. So it's not absorbed, it's called malabsorption. Vitamins and minerals, A, E, D, and K, also is not absorbed. They are lost, they end up in the bathroom. It's called maldigestion and malabsorption. Some people here will tell me, so what, big deal, Veronica. Fat is not absorbed, so my cholesterol will go down. The answer is yes, it's actually a big deal. Let's go again to Blackboard and um, I will explain you why it is such a big deal. Okay. A lot of body parts are made out of fat. Uh, brain, for example, made out of fat. Cells are made out of fat. This is the cell, cell membrane. This is the cell nucleus. And the cell membrane is actually, is not straight line the way I draw it here. It's made out of lipid bilayer. Lipid means fat. Bilayer means two. And it looks like that. So piece of fat on one side and piece of on the other. So this is a normal lipid by layer. So this is fat, exactly the fat that you put into your mouth that get broken down in the small intestine and get absorbed into your bloodstream and you it, and get delivered into the cells and cells are built or rebuilt out of the piece of fat. Why do we need to build cells? Well, because we are losing a lot of cells through the day. Look at that good example. You go to the shower, right? You brush your, you brush your arms um, and then you wash it. A lot of cells disappeared from the surface of the skin. So you need to build new cells. So you're constantly building them. So if liver is working appropriately, fat comes in into your mouth. Okay, get broken down here in the small intestine and eventually get absorbed and get incorporated right here into your cell. But what if you have maldigestion, malabsorption due to functional liver deficiency? So a lot of fat get lost. Body cannot afford not to have cells. It will start to communicate with the liver and they'll tell liver, hey, listen, we need to build this lipid bilayer. Liver said, I will do that. It will start to build out of sugar. As a result, this lipid bilayer will look totally different. Cells will be made out of material that's readily available to them. So one lipid bilayer will be like that, the, you know, the other looks like that piece of fat, looks like that small one, big one, small one. This type of lipid bilayer is very unstable. So it's called cellular membrane instability. It's unstable to physical insult and to temperature insult. So why is that so important? Because the whole body is built out of uh, cells. For example, let me take a read. Here is our blood vessel, all right? I, I will draw it in red. Here is the blood vessel. And Actually, the blood is floating here. Okay, this is the blood vessel. I'm not the best drawer. So the blood vessel and the blood vessel is lined by the cells. So this is not a straight line. It's actually blood vessel is made out of cells. 
This is normal sale. However, when you build these cells, when the cellular membrane is unstable, let's draw those cells. They will be like that. One is small, one is big cell. The cell, cellular membrane is very uh, unstable to physical insult and temperature insult. Because membrane is unstable, it could be broken very easy. So the cellular uh, content will spill out. Well, the body cannot tolerate that. So body will communicate to liver. Hey, I have unstable cellular membrane here, here, right in the blood vessel. We cannot afford that. So body, actually liver, will start to make and uh, start to make um, cholesterol. I will write here cholesterol. And this cholesterol will get spilled into the bloodstream and will get delivered into the cell membrane to make sure that and get incorporated here to stabilize the cell membrane. Unfortunately, you go to a primary care physician, he will look, oh, look at that. We have elevated cholesterol in the bloodstream. We need to block production of cholesterol. And you, you get the Lipitor cholesterol low in medication. There is no cholesterol, so you don't stabilize cellular membrane. You have a problem. You sit in the Florida on the temperature, 120 degrees in the car, and you cannot start the car, and your blood pressure goes up, and it's hot. What happened to this uh, blood vessels? Because of the cells unstable, cells get broken, blood spills out. Blood out, suppose all of that is in the brain. Blood out of the bloodstream in the brain means stroke. If that blood vessel with that unstable cellular membrane is in the heart, it is heart attack. Okay, guys, I hope you do understand the concept. For you, when you come to doctor's office and complain about um, fat and digestion, there is stool, nausea, um, poor appetite. So all of that are symptoms. For the physician who understands the problem, it means that um, um, functional liver deficiency, maldigestion, malabsorption, and health problems down the road. Okay, guys, I hope that um, you understand the concept. Uh, if you have any questions, like, subscribe. And if you need a health coach, contact me on my website. And once again, the video is too long. People are watching only one minute, 30 seconds. Bye-bye for now.